Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspie's Hobbyland here. Kind of late on a Wednesday night, but we've got Star Wars to do. 2016 Tops Star Wars Masterwork. It's a one box break, number 22 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Uh, we've got John Bowman, Bowman, Bowman right there. And it's a random pack break, so everyone, so each person will be assigned a pack after I pop it out of this box right here. All right, so first things first, before we randomize that, let's go to the homepage of random.org. Let's generate a number between one through eight. And that's box one. I don't think we have done box one yet. No, that we haven't. That's the middle box right here. In my chicken scratch, that is considered a one. Box eight and six are left. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of randomize the boxes a little bit as well. Although I don't think that... There was always like this thing that the medallion always came out of box one, but I don't think that's the case anymore. But just for just for funsies, we'll randomize that. I could do prime prime cuts only takes about ten minutes. I could do a prime cut tonight as well before we call it a night. That's jaspyshobbyland.com or another Star Wars. Could probably squeeze in another another quick ten minute break. All right, there's one, two, three, and four. Now let's go back here and randomize these names, see what packs they get. Six and a three, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There you go, Bowman with the first three and then John with pack four. So there we go. So Bowman will obviously do your first three first, and John will have yours right there, box four right there. All right. Good luck, Bowman. I don't know why I went backwards. I guess we're doing three first. Um, what's been odd is in the last few boxes, We've only seen one autograph per box. Previously, we've been seeing two, but the last couple we've we've seen we've seen fewer, which has been a little uh, which has been a little disconcerting or annoying, I guess. But maybe we'll see a bit of a change here. All right, we're just gonna use this. Uh, Spacer card right there just to kind of hide the cards and add a little bit of suspense to this break There's a uh, figrin I'm gonna sleeve all these up at the same time as well might as well Obi-Wan Kenobi Darth Maul great rivalries Nice We got a lot of people here that own it Martin R2D2 Nice. And Sabi. Sabe? I don't know. I think she got... Yeah. Did she, did she battle? I forget what... I don't know. I, th I think she was a... She was like a decoy or something like that. Kind of like this thing right here. All right. What do we got here? Thin card. It's... Look at that. David Barkley, the puppeteer for Jabba the Hutt. Nice. Oh, 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 Banta Pudu on Solo. There's an exclamation point right there, too. Nice. On card auto, the puppeteer. Nice one, Bowman. Pack two. I don't know why I went backwards on that, Bowman, but might as well, we're just going to go with it. No, that's impossible. Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, great rivalries. Search your feelings, Luke. You know it to be true. I am your father. It's like, oh no. That, that was like Sixth Sense before Sixth Sense. You know what I mean? That was like the first like usual suspects right there. Darth Vader. 
Everyone's like, what? Lor Santeca, what's his backstory going to be? This should be kind of interesting. I think the auto is right here. Hang on, let me flip this around. <coughs> that was actually a real cough, but it's funny because that's what he does too. General Grievous. And we've got Wayne Pygram as Wilhuff Tarkin. 48 out of 50. Nice. So there's two autos there. I don't think they should. Yeah, I think all the. I forgot that General Grievous on the end. There's no backstory for him? How did he end up with the map for Luke Skywalker, Curtis? Well, that's, that's, that's important questions that, that I want to know. Where's the hit? All right, there it is. Darth Maul, 18 out of 99. Goss Tours, 16 out of 99, Alien Identification Guide. We will never know? Oh, uh, that's good. We gotta find out at some point, right? No? I'll bet Mon Mothman knows, she knows. Wicked Warwick. And Count Dooku. And we've got Maz Ameda, David Bowers as. I guess that's where all the autos is, are, have, have been. So all three, for all first three, all three boxes right here. Had autos in it. Well, John Mortolaro has box four. This might be the medallion, John, but hope maybe it's an autoed medallion. Maybe it's a low number medallion. So good luck to you. Well, this is pretty cool. There's Supreme Leader Snoke. 68 out of 99. Nice to have these numbered cards here. Show of Force. Kylo Ren. Nice. It's in a BB unit. There's General Hux. It always seems like the guy at your work that's that's kind of like a like a kiss ass and is just like really eager to please and you're just like, come on, man, take it down a notch, brown noser. Qui Gon Jin. I have a certain set of skills. <laughs> I want him to do that in Qui Gon Jin voice. All right, and the last one, John. We've got. It's numbered. It's Ray. Nice. Assault on Star Killer Base. I haven't seen one of these yet. Commemorative Medallion Ray. And that's 28 out of 99. There you go, John. And Bowman. Thank you. And that's it, folks. That was Star Wars Masterwork. It's a one box random pack break number 22. The next one. In the store already, we only have two left. That's it. JaspiesHobbyland.com. This is Joe, and may the force be with you.